All right, we've started. Oh my god, we're live. We're live and we're ready for some Pokemon card roulette. <laughs> All right, here we go. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. That is a jungle pack. It is worth $65. Quite expensive. Oops, I just bumped into my lighting. Uh, I did so much rearranging today. My, my whole area looks so good. Somebody was asking yesterday night, what does my workstation look like? And I thought I would show you guys. I just made it look nicer than it's ever been. Hold on, shaky camera time. So here is my bench. Oh, look at that bench with the stuff underneath it. There's my little printing drawer. It's like a nightstand, but that's a label printer in the middle and on the left is a regular printer. And that is my product over there. We have Hidden Fates out the wazoo. Big fan of the Hidden Fates, obviously. I think that the Hidden Fates will move up in value over time and I can probably just sit on it. All right, and then for today, we're gonna be jumping back. Woo! Oh, actually, you guys need to see one more thing. Kitty, what are you doing? She's really annoying. <laughs> she always wants attention, even when I'm live. And, um, okay, set this down. No more screen shake. Not until my hands touch the table. See, when my hands touch the table, the whole damn thing shakes. I kind of wish I had different, um, a tripod that doesn't shake with the table or something. I don't know. But that's just how it is. We'll figure it out in the future. Okay, so this pack right here is for Sam. Sam bought one more Jungle Booster, and then I pulled it from the box. And after I pulled his, I pulled three more out of the Jungle Box because Dark Lord Pongo bought three of these and three of these. So these boxes are actually selling down. I'm really impressed. Uh, they'll be sold out. The Fossil will be sold out eventually. What else was impressive? Yesterday, we sold... Oh, my God. Yesterday, we went through a whole box of these. It was crazy. For those of you who are tuning in and have no idea what these are, these are like custom booster pack sets. A lot of booster pack sets you get from the store cost about $20. And then when you pull the boosters out, it turns out they picked like some really crappy boosters. So I've done something similar, except I've only gone with good boosters. So these booster packs are Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, Burning Shadows, and Unbroken Bonds. These are all the sets from the Sun and Moon uh, uh, collection where you can pull Charizards. Okay, so I only took booster packs from those sets and I assembled them into one set. You have a chance to have bad pulls. You also have a chance for very good pulls. So normally, you know, when you buy a product from Pokemon, you're gonna get like one good card and a bunch of bad cards. With this, it is possible for all four of these to be duds, but because they're all coming from a separate product, they're all coming from a separate booster box, it's also possible for these to have multiple full arts. The, the odds are probably very small, keep that in mind. So that's what I've put together for you guys, and it was a really popular uh, booster pack that I think uh, basically we're just selling through them like hotcakes. So I was really impressed with that. It's a lot of fun because it lets you guys buy something fun like this, but I also get to make content for you guys. So it's, it's a, actually a really fun trade-off, especially if you pull something fun, because then you can mark the video later and be like, this is the video where I pulled my cool card. You know, you can go look at it later. So we're going to be opening this one up for Sam. Sam has pulled a few non-hollows from the jungles, and he's hoping that this will be a hollow. I am hoping too, actually. Oop. Forgot the lamp's all crowded on my right now. Weekend Wolf says, bought a fossil pack. Dark Lord Pongo said, those are extremely appealing. I have not seen the other stream yet. Great idea. By the way, did he say he just now bought a fossil pack? Did my laptop not go, go off? No, he didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. You confused me there for a moment. <laughs> Let's start with Sam's Jungle Pack. Good luck, Sam. I'm rooting for you. Don't do it, says Arson. Re Arson, please. Actually, I'm going to shift the whole thing over. I'm going to shift to give myself a little more room on the right. The right side of my arm is kind of crowded. Okay, here we go. This is for Sam. Good luck, Sam. Bell Sprout, huh? On your first card? Wow, that's, that basically pays for the whole pack. No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Spiro, Meowth, Mankey, Goldeen. There's a, this is always a nice card. You got the Pikachu. Oddish. What's behind the Oddish? Holographic Kangaskhan. You did get a holographic, Sam. Congratulations. Hey, that's me. Look, you can see my face, everyone. Holographic Kangaskhan. Congratulations, man. Your uncommons are Executor, Seeking, and Marowak. Let's take a look at the card. Let's see if it's in really good condition or not. 
All right, so Kangaskhan often has print lines, and if this one has no print lines, that would be really nice. Well, I'm not seeing any solid print lines, but I feel like I see a very tiny scratch right there going horizontally. Oh, that's too bad if it's really a scratch. I would probably send this in anyways, uh, just based on the looks of it. I mean, what looks, these look like smears here. I don't know if you guys see those. Can you see that? That's like a smear. I can't tell though. I wonder if that would fail grading. Um, let's see, what else? Maybe slight silvering on this side, on the back of the card, let's see. Is that a white chip? Does that come off? Does that rub off? It almost looks like paint actually. Mm, that little dot might cause it to lose a PSA 10, but PSA 9 might not be bad. You'll have to do a little bit of research. Let's go ahead and put this in a pack. Just doing a little bit of on-screen grading for you there. Yeah, there's a tiny speck on the back. You can see it real clearly when I have a black background. Now, I don't know if that's a speck that'll rub off or if it's actually chipping from the paint. Okay. Kangaskhan. Nice job, man. Let's put these back in. And that was for Sam. Sam I am. Sam the man. Move my Charizard. Why is my Charizard over here? If my wife, maybe my wife was playing with it. She's going to lose it. She's going to give it to the cats, and the cats are going to chew on it. <laughs> I like having him there. It's, it's a nice looking card to have out. So I tell you guys what, on the first one of these packs, since my goal is to kind of sell through the rest of these tonight, if you want, this first one is 20 bucks to whoever wants it. Okay, so the first one's 20, the next one, uh, the rest of them are 23 each. So I'm giving you free shipping on the first pack for whoever would like this. Uh, be sure to call it out first so that multiple people don't pay for it at once. Okay, King is gone, man. This is my favorite part of the stream, by the way, when I get to write his name down. <laughs> If my cat chews my Char Char Charizard, I'm selling him to the nearest Chinese buffet. Okay, hold on. Someone just paid for it. Weekend Wolf donated 60. Oh, I'm sorry. Weekend Wolf did buy one of these. I believe he just bought a fossil pack. Okay, so this was for Sam. Place this over here. I'll move this over here. So the first one is 20, the rest of them are 23. I'm giving you free shipping on the first one of those. And and so we're gonna open this one up for Weekend Wolf. This is a fossil uh, booster pack. I don't know how many packs are left. The box is really low, let me show you. Yeah, so there's the jungle and the fossil. Slow down the stream, it sounds really weird. Does it sound like I'm in like a tin can or something? I think I've tried that myself. So here you go, Weekend Wolf. Good luck. Unweighted Fossil and Jungle Booster Packs. Isaiah Moore. Uh, so Isaiah, you just made a donation through the Super Chat. And the problem is YouTube takes 30% of that. So you have not actually paid $20. Uh, you've paid... $20 minus 30%. What would that be? $14? I think you paid $14. Oof. Yeah, it was a big mistake. I'm sorry, man. I, uh, if you're new to this, the payments are made through... Um, the payments are actually made through the Streamlabs link. Yeah, there's a Streamlabs link in the description. Oh, I feel... I'm so sorry, Isaiah. Maybe I can... Uh, Maybe I can refund you that. I, I don't think I've ever refunded a Super Chat. Uh, I can try to look into it right now. But first, let's open up this pack for Weekend Wolf. Okay, so Weekend Wolf, you're starting with Mysterious Fossil. Then you have Geodude, Slowpoke, Shelder, Zubat, Energy Search, Kabuto, Holographic Articuno. Congratulations. Look at that. We got some good pulls on these vintage booster packs. So you also have Golem and Graveler. Look at that. You got Golem and Graveler and Kingler. Sweet. Nice job, dude. Let's see what you got. A 
I'm looking at it. It looks like a very, very, very faint print line right there. I can't, I can't even show it to you, so you can kind of see it. There you go, if I tilt it. Actually, it looks like there's three very light ones. I don't know if they would count that as a print line, but maybe they would? Yeah, it's hard to say. Would they count that as a print line? I mean, it's so thin. Let's check the back of it. Okay, the back of the card. Actually, I'm, st I'm actually seeing a print line on the back of the card. It's about right here. It's very faint. There it is. You have to tilt the card just right and it shows up. There it is. See that? So that's a print line on the back. Other than that, the rest of the card looks pretty good. Isaiah says it's a donation now. Sweet. All right. There you can see that. Let's go ahead and pop this Articuno into a sleeve. Nice job on the pull. Even if it has print lines like that, it is a pack fresh card. And when it comes to the vintage cards, even pulling like a 7, an 8, and a 9, even that's actually not bad with these, even though you would prefer to pull a 10, which I'm not saying it can't pull a 10. I think it, I don't know. I, I guess I haven't sent enough, I haven't sent enough vintage cards into PSA and gotten them to return to really know. I, I would bet that it would probably fail a 10. You would only know if you sent it in though. And if it did fail a 10, maybe it would end with a 9, because it, it looks really clean, and a 9's not bad anyways. I want that shiny Articuno from Hidden Fate so bad. Oh, who knows? Maybe we'll pull him tonight. Wouldn't that be funny? All right, go ahead and place this in a... So that was Weekend Wolf. And actually, I think we have some cards of yours already. Weekend Wolf, let's see if we can find it. So I didn't ship these cards out. That's because I woke up and the mailman had already been by. Apologize for that. They will all go out Monday, though. West Kiva, Mist. Whoa, we sold so many cards yesterday. I got all these coins. I don't even want them. Emma, here it is. Weekend Wolf. So let's see if we can throw these in with your other cards or if there won't be enough room. Hopefully there's room. Oh, yeah, there's room. That fits fine. Sweet. What kind of package do you use to send off the cards? Just an envelope? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I have a lot of mail that comes in for cards that I buy off of eBay, and I just reuse them. That's mostly what I do. But they're, they're packages you can buy at the store, or you can even buy them online. All right, let's see what's happening next. I need to turn my laptop volume up. Turn that up a few buttons. Whoa, just as soon as I took a look. <laughs> Isaiah, nice. <laughs> well, I tell you what, Isaiah, because you've kind of overpaid for this, right? You you did the super chat. You didn't know that the super chat was going to give you, um, it was going to take a cut of the purchase away. So I tell you what we can do for you, because you've paid too much for this. Why don't I also throw in another Burning Shadows, and I throw in oof, another Unbroken Bonds, and we'll see what you get. So you got a full pack and a half pack. How does that sound? Sound good? All right, here we go. Let's start with your additional cards. All right, first pack. And I'm going to be careful not to reveal the back of the cards because I don't want you to know what you got ahead of time. We have Fighter Energy, Porygon 2, Cleffa, War Turtle, Diglett with Giovanni in the background, Glamiao, Salandit, Mischievous, Oddish, Reverse Hollow, Caterpie, and, oops, Non-holographic aggro. <laughs> Agron, not aggro. Aggro is something you grab in a video game. <laughs> Next pack. Don't look. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Make sure I didn't grab too many there. Escape rope. Sometimes you need an escape rope from a bad relationship. A low and grimer. A toxic relationship. Rots, Hello and Vulpix. This is your second girlfriend, the better one. Hoot Hoot, Lady Ba. Reverse Hollow Porygon and Holographic Palosand. Ah, I was hoping that would be a GX for you. All right, so we got Porygon and Palosand's actually a rare. 
an escape rope from your girlfriend. <laughs> you guys ever had a bad girlfriend? I always took my relationships really seriously. So when a relationship had a bad girlfriend in it, it was real bad. I was like, gotcha. Any pull so far? Just join the stream. We pulled a holographic fossil Articuno and a holographic jungle Kangaskhan. Both of those are very good pulls, I would say. Lily's polka doll. Sometimes you just want her to be a pillow princess. Togedemaru, great catcher. Great catcher. I think that gets used. Apon, Wubat, Ducklet. Guys, take a second to like the video. It helps attract more viewers. Oh yeah, I'd appreciate that, guys. Swirlix, Alo and Grimer. Reverse Hollow Trevenant. That's a rare. And non-holographic Palosand. Wow, the Palosands are following you, dude. Palosand Way. Oh man. Hopefully one of these packs has something good in it. Come on, man. Let's get some, let's get some good packs. I want to see them. Hmm. Hidden Face is here to save us. Come on, Hidden Face. Do something. Because being dirty was my intent. What? Jinx. Magmar. Brock's Grit. Magikarp. Slowpoke. Clefairy. Coughing. Voltorb. Ah, Reverse Hollow Ekans. And <laughs> Erica's Hospitality. Get out of here, Erica's Hospitality. Oh, no. I was waiting for that full art shiny to come out with the hidden fates, huh? Here we go. This is Burning Shadows. Flip this around. Super Scoop. We got the Super Scoop. Electabuzz. Sophocles. Meryl. Caterpie. Morlul. Duskull. Oddish. Reverse Hollow Cutie Fly. And... Ah, uh, non-holographic, a low in nine times. What are these pulls? These are some tough luck pulls right here. These are some cold packs. Last booster. This is where we pull the Charizard, everyone. Oops, I keep hitting my lamp. One, two, three, four. Fire energy It's the sign of a Charizard, right? Fairy Charm, Martial Arts Dojo, Porygon 2, Venonat, Cotney, Wooper, Oddish, Tangela, Reverse Hollow Spiro and Oh, there's a Blacephalon. Oh my god. I'm giving you one more. Let's get one more. We can't end on that note. We're gonna get you one more broken bond. Come on, Isaiah. I don't mind. This is for Isaiah. My old chum, my old pal. My best friend, Isaiah. Here we go. Lightning energy. Cleffa. Electromagnetic Radar, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Goldeen, Rattata, Rhyhorn, Squirtle, Esper, Reverse Hollow Meowth, and Genesect. Oh my god, that is some rough pulls right at the start, man. <laughs> I was praying for you, and the gods of Pokemon did not smile generously this time. I am so sorry. I gave you a total of seven packs in all, so... I don't know what the heck that's all about. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Wellix Kiba just bought a pack. Well, let's open up some cards for Wellix Kiba. Yeah, some sometimes you don't get the pull that you want. That's how Pokemon goes. That's how you play Mafia. Seven packs. Yeah, that was that was a rough one. I got about 35 Hidden Fates packs heading my way. No problem, man. Well, I was really rooting for you. I even threw in that extra pack at the end. Maybe Wellix Kiba will have better luck. Hopefully. Okay. And we'll seal this off. Oop. This is, oop. God damn it. That, I got to remember that light's right there. Isaiah Moore. So you'll need to contact me in the Discord uh, server in order to tell me uh, your address for shipping for these cards. I'm going to say I Moore. I want some more Pokemon. Okay. Better luck next time. That was rough. Well, well Kiba. Here we go. <laughs> I'm thinking I should buy one at this rate. I have great luck with these. You know these late night Pokemon streams aren't good for my addiction. Now I'm going to have to hit up Walmart. <laughs> so we have Cosmic Eclipse. Burning Shadows will be opened last. And Unbroken Bonds. Cosmic Eclipse, Unbroken Bonds, Hidden Fates, Burning Shadows. Are you guys ready? This is where all the pulls are made. It's this exact pack, West Kiba. Is it West Kiba or Wellix Kiba? Does it depend on the how you're feeling the day? 
Shout out, please. How's it going, Hayden Plays? Don't forget to play with Hayden Plays, because he plays for days. Here we go. Fairy Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Rapidash, Roxy. See, Roxy, she just didn't want to do what her dad says. You know, her dad was like, he's this corporate type, and he's like, you're going to go to school, you're going to learn a respectable trade, you're going to get a nice husband in college, but she's like, nah, I'm going to be a rock star. And then she fell in love with coughing, and coughing is cool, you know, he doesn't, he's, coughing's like sexy, and he doesn't respect her dad, but ultimately, uh, coughing leaves her, you know, a single mother. So that's, that's the problem. So, but, you know, that's Ro Roxy's choice, so what, what can you do about it? Holographic Blacephalon. Wow, that's a cool-looking Blacephalon, actually. I will make sure to open my packs on stream tonight. Uh, on the stream night, I get them, says Isaiah Moore. Oh, very cool, man. Okay, so Blacephalon. I think people are actually using that card, are they? Fireworks Bombs. Put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. If your opponent has exactly three prize cards remaining, put 12 damage counters on them. Yeah, Blacephalon is, I'm pretty sure, a played card. He's like a sniper card. So here we go, Unbroken Bonds. Next pack. Throw that away. Oops, I just gave your code away. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So we're going to take the Blacephalon and put him in a... I like the way he looks so much that I'm going to bag him for you. How about that? Ta-da! It's a cool looking card. Here we go. Psychic Energy. Tora Cat. Charge Bug. Power Plant. Spritzy. Gligar. Astly. How much are booster boxes in America and in Canada is so costly? They, they fluctuate. They're usually about $100. Polyrath and non-holographic Cribominable. Darn. <laughs> and it also depends. Some, some booster boxes actually get really expensive. And you got other cards like Hidden Face where you can't really buy them in booster boxes. You can't buy them in booster boxes. So, and that's one of the reasons why the cards cost more than the, uh, those in particular. Mahasver Mah Mahasvera? Did I say that right? He says, let's buy another one. No problem, man. Here we go. How's it going, Colin Tate? Tated Colin. All right, next pack. Oops, you got to see it. It's a white card. That means he has a chance. Let's see. Brock's Pewter City Gym. Chansey. Graveler. Coughing. Voltorb. Cubone. Geodude. Eevee. Oh, reversed hollow electrode and full art Jesse and James. So you actually got a full art from that pack. Not shiny Charizard, but we will take a full art anytime you can with the full art. Nice job, man. And the electrode, I'm setting him on this pile. Freaking electrode. I've seen him too many times. Full art Jesse and James. Congratulations. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Finally, some type of pull. <laughs> I know, right? Body Dumbbells, Simapore, Soul Rock, Wimpod, Alolan Vulpix, Meowth, Ryolu, Alolan Grimer, Reverse Hollow, Hoot Hoot, and Non Holographic Slow King. All right, kind of rough on that last pack, huh? So that Blacephalon looks really cool. I don't know why I bagged the Polyrath. I think I saw that black and white spiral, and I'm like, I like black and white spirals. And then also, you got the Full Art Jesse and James, which is going to be your best pull. And that was for Wellix. No Steelix, though, huh? Whew. So what's going on? Mahas Mahasvara? I think I'm saying that right. If I get nothing, don't tell my girlfriend, says Emma Clark. So we got two more to open up. This one's for Mahasvara. He opened some yesterday. Let's see what he pulls today. Pull them in a certain order, don't I? Cosmic Eclipse first. Pull them in the same order each time. What will we see? Am I going to get in trouble? <laughs> don't get in trouble. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We've got Dartrix, Cosmoem, Mawile, Oddish, Ralts, Sandygast. Fuel, Cottony, this is a terrific card. <laughs> this Pikachu is one of the better uh, reverse hollows to pull. They're not extremely expensive, but it's such a great looking card that people actually like this one. Actually, I'd be curious to know how much it goes for online if anyone wants to look it up. But that one's a nice, that one's a nice pull out of all of them. You got the Pikachu, man, that's a collectible one. 
All right, next you have Unbroken Bonds. Not bad for your first pack. Let's see what you get in your second pack. Don't look, don't look, don't look. One, two, three, four. Flip it around. Fairy Energy, Togetic, Payokumoku, Charger Bug, Aeron, Froki, Porygon, Geodude, Meowth, Reverse Hollow, Ghastly, and Non-Holographic Dugtrio. Get out of here, Dugtrio. Next pack, this is your Hidden uh, hidden Fates pack. I can speak. Let's see what we get in these Hidden Fates. I can't believe we pulled a Jesse and James. Not my favorite card from that set. Jesse and James, I liked it at first. But I think I've pulled it too many times is the problem. Misty, Cerulean City, Jim, Magmar, Ekans, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck. You got Shiny Mewtwo. That is an awesome pull. Damn, dude. This is like the fifth or the sixth most, pop most popular card you can pull from the set. But let, me, let me see if I can remember. It goes Charizard, Cynthia, Umbreon, Sylveon? And then I think it goes Mewtwo. Great pull right there. Woo! Well, that was a lucky pack for sure. Jeez Louise. And non hollow Oh, wait. No, that's holographic Zapdos. Nice. Awesome pull. Pop this in a sleeve. Back of the car is looking pretty clean. Sweet. <laughs> All right. And we have Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows. Rigged, says West Kiva. <laughs> The game is rigged. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. That's really how it goes, you know. <laughs> it's rigged. <laughs> Tormenting Spray, Whirlipede, Guzma, Esper, Duskull, Oddish, Mudbray, Sock, Reverse Hollow, Sandy Gast, Ant, Non-Holographic, Butterfree, but that's okay, because we actually did get a really cool pull this time. Yeah, this will be one of the better pulls of the night. I'm sure of it. I love seeing that Mewtwo. I got one of those Mewtwo's. Here we go. Pikachu and Mewtwo, both of them. That Mewtwo, in my opinion, he's going to be a very collectible card over time. People will want that. PSA 10 or pristine, black label, whatever. Hayden says, I subscribe. Thank you very much, Hayden. I do appreciate that. It is a small channel right now, but we do a lot of pulls, so anytime someone subscribes, that does help. Let me make sure I get your name right. Mahas Vara. All right. Blow a little wind on that. One for Emily. I called her Emily. Her name's Emma. You know what? That's unacceptable. Now you have to have an extra Hidden Fates pack. Emma gets an extra, because I called her name wrong. <laughs> I should know your name by now. Here we go. Ooh, you got five. Hot. Forever Emily. It's because I have a cousin named Emily. And I go to say Emma, and my brain swaps it to Emily. And I, I don't know why it does that. Extra pack. Here you go. Cross your fingers. Maybe it's a good one. Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, call me whatever you want for pack, <laughs> Koga's Trap, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow, Sabrina Suggestion, and Misty's Water Command. Well, it didn't turn into anything crazy, but it's okay. It was still a fun roll. You never know, because it could have been Shiny Charizard, and that would have been the highlight of the whole stream and the highlight of many of my streams. Cosmic Eclipse next. Imagine you pull the shiny Charizard on the bonus pack. <laughs> Best pull of your life. <laughs> You'd be like, damn. Here we go. Do you do giveaways? Well, I do give the code cards away in the Discord. I've thought about hosting some giveaways. Bellaba and Bryson Man, Pig Knight, Unidentified Fossil. The, the problem I have with giveaways is the what they really are Typically for a YouTuber, they're a calculated way to purchase subscribes. So I have done giveaways in the past, and the reason I've slowed down on those is because they're actually hard to manage, especially if you do more than one. But I didn't even ask people to just subscribe. I just told people they have to leave a comment so that I can actually run a piece of software that would pick a winner out. Uh, but yeah, you know, doing the giveaways where you're like, you've got to subscribe and hit the button, they're basically paying for subscribers is what they're doing. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I shouldn't care about how, how I feel about it. Maybe I should just be doing it regardless. Ruthless. 
ruthless. Flip that over. I wish I could be in one of your videos, says Hayden. Ah, very cool. Samson Oak, Chip Chip, Ice Axe, Goldeen, Ratata, Rhyhorn, Squirtle, Esper, Reverse Hollow, Vicavolt, and non-holographic Salazzle. Wow, that Salazzle is looking pretty... What the heck? That's not PG-13. See the look on Salazzle's face? Let's get that Salazzle again. Look at the look on her face. She's like, hmm? She's checking you out. I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that, the way Salazzle's looking at me. Okay, here we go. Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates, the set that just keeps giving. It appears Hidden Fates always has the same back card, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you guys see it. Most YouTuber giveaway feels so cheap. Cheap. Scyther, Sabrina, Suggestion, Pokemon, Center Lady, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ah, Reverse Hollow, Arbok, and Bill's Analysis. I was waiting for that shiny Charizard. I always do. I always wait for it. We love, we love pulling those shiny full arts from the Hidden Fates packs. Those are crazy. Last pack, cross your fingers. It's not over. It's not over, by the way. It's not over. Don't look. You didn't see any shiny. Ride on, Electric, Bull, Buffalant, Crabrawler, Stuffle, Inke. The card game economist ain't cheap. What? Duskull, Tynamo, Reverse Hollow, Araquanit, and <gasps> Lycan Rock Full Art. What? Nice pull. There you go. You can't give up. That last pack could be the, the pack that gives you everything you ever asked for. Game economist, have your cat choose a pack to cut for Pokemon Roulette. <laughs> wow, you are two for two, Emma. You've actually opened up two of these packs and pulled a full art both time. Both times. That is, like, really lucky. I think now's the time to stop gambling, Emma. You've got it. <laughs> it's like when you, you buy two Scratchers tickets, you win both times, and then you never play Scratchers tickets again for the rest of your life. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. Let's see. Uh, you win some, you lose some. That's how, that's how Pokemon cards always go. See, you didn't even need the extra pack. I'm going to brag so hard. <laughs> you brag when you win, when you lose, uh, you don't say anything. That's how it works. Look at that. Lycan Rock and Poke Gear 3.0, two full arts for Emma. Very good luck. Okay. Are we done? Let me, let me check this real fast. Hayden subscribed. Wow. Thank you, man. Okay, so nobody else has purchased a pack, so we're done. And I just turned the live stream off immediately. <laughs> um, I'm so jealous of that gold Poke Gear you got. Watch stream in the AM and was like, whoa. Get rid of this right here. Call and date. Ah, uh, let's see. I think what I will do is I will open up one of my Hidden Fates tins for myself. I haven't opened up any car cards tonight, so I'm going to open up one of these, and you guys can wish me luck. We're going to open up a Gyarados tin. How does that sound? Gyarados, Gyarados. I believe in the polls. Ugh. Ugh. Great night of Pokemon and Monster Hunter. I agree. Two monster games. Very different from each other, but monsters nonetheless. I pray to the RNG gods. <laughs> Alright, move all this trash off to the side. I'll have to clean that up later. I told my girlfriend about it, and she was like, Yay, we got a secret rare. And then I won a second time last night. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you guys the code card early this time. There you go. Here's a Gyarados. You know, I'm going to put him in one of these, because I don't care for him. Hidden face sleeve. <laughs> Seems appropriate. Time to make trash. Do you have any idea when first round of PSA cards will be back? So they say that the grading time is, uh, was it 35 days? It was 35 or 25 days. However, they make up a, a, big, a big point to asterisk that and they say it could, at any time it could become. Deed. So 
I don't remember when I submitted them either. It must have been at least a week ago, but it's, it's, it's a long wait. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, are we there yet? That's how I feel too, man. Because I got some cards in there too, and I want to see if we got any good grades on them. I'm really excited, actually. Ivan says, would you sell me some of your empty tins? Oh, no. Why are you asking me that now? I just threw away like 20 of them. Oh, my God. Yeah, of course I would sell you some tins. <laughs> I just threw them away. I didn't even think they had any value. That's a big oof. Yeah, big oof. I got some other things for sale, some strange things uh, that I don't talk about too often. So here's something that is 25 bucks. This is the Rayquaza statue that you can only get from the premium collection box. He's a real looking, a real nice looking Rayquaza statue. Uh, he's a shiny Rayquaza, so he's actually the color black. And you can put a little card right here. I already sold one of them, but I've got a few left because I actually bought a couple of the premium fates collections. So you can talk to me if you want one of these statues. Uh, I have these coins, I guess. I don't really want them even. I don't. I think they're worth like a dollar or two. I don't know much about the coins. Oh, let's go ahead and open up some packs. That's what we're really here for. I'm not going to lie, I kind of want that Ray Ray. He's a cool statue because you can take a great looking card, plug it into the statue, and have that on your shelf. So let me show you. I got to show you. You can buy this Rayquaza, and I'll sell you this Rayquaza card for 15 bucks too. How about that? I already got a cat hair on it. There we go. So you can buy these together, and you can set that on your shelf. Damn, that is fancy as frick, dude. That looks very good. Have you seen this card up close, guys? This is the shiny Rayquaza card that you get from the Premium Fates collection. How much for some coins and signed steel energy? I can give you a signed steel energy card. You don't got to pay for that if you really want it. Uh, West Kiba, I'll give you the coins as well. How many do you want? You just want like one or two? I can't imagine you'd need all of them. Okay. What was I saying? We're going to open up some cards. <laughs> TDC, just imagine the last stage of the siege. Jeff evolves to Mega Evolution. Ah, he's talking about Monster Hunter. <laughs> Mega Evolution. <laughs> he becomes a Gigantamax. Get rid of that. Flip it around. Koga's Trap. Brock's Grit. Misty's bending over, Geodude, Cubone, EV, Clefairy, Psyduck, Reverse Hall, Magmar, and Golem. Please don't be another another dud box. Remember, you guys were watching last time. All four packs were duds last time. Throw this away. One, two, three, four. Drop this over here. Charmeleon, Jinx, Graveler, Slowpoke, Magikarp. Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Shiny Sudowoodo. That's not a bad pull. And Holographic Jesse and James. Nice. We'll go ahead and sleeve this guy up. Guys, remember when they introduced Sudowoodo in Silver and Gold, the Pokemon games, and you had to, like, use Cut on him? <laughs> Seems like you would have been able to use anything on him if he's a Pokemon. Like, why don't you just use Flamethrower on him? Or, uh, yeah, I, just, I don't know. Like, any number of moves. Shiny Sudowoodo. Pat me on the back. Does that Jesse and James have a Waba on it? No, it does not. The full art one does, not the not the smaller one. I'll show you the smaller one. This is the rare holographic. And it's just James holding up a, a rose because he's a little bit in touch with his feminine side. Throw this card away. Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans. Damn, that's a good pull. Lycanroc, GX, and Mew. Oop, the Mews are rare. Place them over here. Damn. I got a good pull tonight. Holy smokes. Makes up for yesterday night, honestly. Look at that. That's shiny lichen rock. Woo! Feeling cute. Maybe post this later. The back of the card looks perfect. That's going to go in the grading pile. Actually, I'll just... Well, no, we'll place them here. Okay, and last pack. What luck is that? Better than last time, huh? Look at this. That doesn't look good. That looks like an error. I'm like an expert at opening these packs up now. Not too long ago, I couldn't figure them out. Throw that away. You don't need the energy card. Farfetch'd, Jinx, Charmeleon. I pull Shiny Charizard out of here. Yeah, right. Voltorb, Geodude, Reverse Hall, Slowpoke, and Electrode. Place this over here. Place this over here. I love shinies too. Shinies are the boss. Vertalo Magmar. The golem is rare. Alright, 
and then we have these pile of common uncommons. I got a huge box of them now, so I just placed them in the box. Normal and full art shiny, not terrible. Scratch it. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> God, it's such a good looking card too. He looks creepy as hell. Oof, so many code cards. Uh, let me go ahead. How, how does the pseudo Wudo look? Should I send the pseudo Wudo in, you think? I'll, uh, I'll examine the pseudo Wudo later. But I think Lycanroc's looking real good. Well, he's looking crazy. Bloodthirsty eyes, huh? That's how I look at my wife sometimes. Okay, are we done for the night? Here's what we got left for the booster packs. There are some of them left. You can see we're running low on them. One, two. Yeah, we don't got a lot of these left. Dark Lord Pongo says, do you think PSA 9 cards are worth collecting? Yes. It depends on the card, but the answer is yes. You can collect a PSA 9 card and it's worth your time. Um, you know, it's, it's just a matter of which PSA 9 card, and we could sit down and analyze it all day, which ones we think will go up in value fastest, but that's all speculation. In the end, I think people definitely buy PSA 9, and I think that, uh, in fact, the funny thing about PSA 9 cards is they're usually more accessible to the average person, so I think that they even have that special appeal of somebody who wants to get into collecting but doesn't really want to break the bank, whereas the hardcore collectors will go after the 10s. They'll go after the tens. Here it is. This is glory, guys. <laughs> I think my screen just froze. Says Dodo Gama, the Doge, the Dodge. What do you think? Is it time to open up our rocket booster box? <laughs> I should I should purchase a rocket booster box just for opening. Elite trainer box. I got that too to open. We gotta open one of those. I think I might save it for the next stream. I feel like we've had a lot for this stream. We have some cool pulls, pulls as well. Got all these rares. I got this booster box left, but we ran out of cosmic eclipse. Is the problem? We got one hidden fates. We got some burning shadows. We got some unbroken bonds. Two hundred five says I would donate to a booster box fund. Oh man, I really would like to buy another booster box. Do the rocket packs have guaranteed hollows? No, uh, similar to the other vintage packs, it's going to be, some are going to be non-hollow, some will be holographic. <laughs> and the, the, rocket, the rocket packs are very expensive. They're very expensive. Because they're first edition, they're as good as they get. Charizard just wants to, Charizard wants to say hi. He wants to know your location. Stop looking at me yet. Uh, stop looking at me with those crazy eyes, Charizard. Raping me with his eyes. Let's move these over here. Use my dono towards getting another booster box, says Isaiah Moore. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's see. How about we have a little fun? I'll open up one Unbroken Bonds booster bo a pack as well. Booster box. So this is from my spare ones up top. I tell you what, we'll do one of these. And to keep it even, we'll do uh, one of these as well. So these are for me. TGC, get that thing out of my face. I want to see shiny Sylveon. I think I sent all my shiny Sylveons off already. Did I send them off already? Let's see if I did. Oops, move these out of the way. Got a bunch of these. Open everything, says Cola. <laughs> Mewtwo, Metagross, Aurora. Hey, here's that Articuno. Somebody was saying they wanted this card, didn't they? Tigard. Somebody was saying that. I could have sworn it. Oh, 205, you want that Articuno, huh? <laughs> Dibs on Onyx and Steelix packs, says Wes Kiba. That's right, because we're definitely pulling them. <laughs> KOSDSD, it's got the clown face, huh? All right. Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows. What do we get? Oh. Come on now. I'm actually kind of hoping I don't pull anything too good because if I do, oh snap. I said that I was getting an itch after those pulls. <laughs> All right, Merrick is going next. <laughs> Here we go. So I don't care about the energies myself. Whirlipede, Guzma, Ribombi, Ryolu, Alone Grimer, Ladybug, Cutie Fly, Horsey, Reverse Hollow Wishful Baton and Holographic Diancy. That's a cool look card. So we'll put the, this is an uncommon and this is a rare. We got one more booster pack and then we're gonna open up for Merrick. 
Drop this over there. I am Merrick. So, oh, I'm sorry, man. You got two names going on. <laughs> Get rid of this. Metapod, Gold Bat, Ultra Forest, Carden Boy, Venonat, Cottony, Whooper, Oddish, Tangela, Reverse Hollow, Gold Bat, and Holographic Arcanine. Oh, I have somebody who likes Arcanine. Maybe I can send him this as a, as a gift. Can't remember his name. I, I talked to so many people who like Arcanines. Who was it? Save this for him. Place it over here, and then we have the Golbat is an uncommon, actually. All right, so nothing too crazy from those two booster packs. At least they have some hollow rares in them, which makes me happy. Move these code cards up. All right, Merrick wants another shot. Good luck, Merrick. Maybe this is your redeeming boosters. We saw some good pulls. Let's see if we can keep that going. All right, Cosmic Eclipse is the starting pack. I have a feeling we're going to see a good Cosmic Eclipse card soon. Dark Lord Pongo says, can I buy your PSA 10 Test Tube Mewtwo? Let me think about it, man. <laughs> I'm willing to... Yeah, maybe I will. I think maybe I will. I kind of want to hold on to him, but you know what? I have two of them. Who really needs two? I have two of them. Eric for Brava, Great Catcher, Cosmog, Pancham, Drillbur. Tangela, Eevee, Reverse Hollow Kyogre, oh, that looks nice, that's a rare card, and Non-Holographic Raichu, place that down here, next pack, Unbroken Bonds, these bonds have been unbroken, flip this around, what are the differences in the packs, well, they're all from a different set in the Sun and Moon series, uh, and I've chosen each I've chosen each four of these sets for their ability to possibly hand out a valuable Charizard. Uh, but they also have other valuable cards in their set as well. Reverse Hollow, Look at Tongue, and Non-Holographic Seeking. Dude, these are cold packs. Hopefully the next two packs redeem you. Emma's favorite kinds of bronze. Oh my god, you guys. Hidden Fates. Don't let us down, Hidden Fates. One, two, three, four. Flip it around. We got Psychic. Oh, I almost threw that away. Psychic Energy, Kogus Trap, Brock's Grit, Misty's Bending Over, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy. Oh, Reverse Hollow, Kogus Trap, and Holographic Brock's Training. Damn it. <laughs> That's how I would feel if I'd open that pack for myself. All right, and Burning Shadows, it's not over. Burning Shadows could. Oof. Turn it all around at the last minute. Cut Brock? Well, I can't cut Brock. He's not actually mine. Uh-oh. What did I do here? Okay. I didn't pull enough, actually. Some buy pack for pack roulette tonight, if Game Conist allows. I will allow it. If you would like to play pack roulette, uh, I will cut a pack in half for $4. If it's a hidden face pack, I will cut it in half for $6. So if you want to play pack roulette, we can play pack roulette. Super scoop up. Plumeria, she's a liberal arts major. Seedra, took it tomorrow. Wimpod, Alolan Rattata, Magikarp, Panseer, Reverse Hollow, Oddish Ant, Non Holographic Hair Crush. Dang it, dude, you got some rough luck, man. Merrick, you got some rough luck. Oh no. Another Super Scoopa. Whew. Let's go ahead and close this up. Do 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 do. Scooby doo doo doo. We should have like a Price is Right sound effect, is what we should have. Card Economist is the name of the game. That's right, man. It actually is the name of the game. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I think over time it like averages out, don't you guys think? So over time you get average, average pulls. What is the best card you pulled today? I believe it's this one. I believe it's this one. We pulled this Mewtwo GX. Mahasvara grabbed it. And that is a very good pull. Actually, technically, this guy right here, or where is he? Because we opened these earlier. Where is it? No. Where did I place it? Oh, oh, oh that's not it either. Oh, where did I place uh, Sam's? Oh, it's right here. 
these two might be the best pulls. Kangaskhan and Articuno from the vintage packs. I don't I don't think they'll I don't know if Mewtwo will beat them. Especially if these pulled good grades, these would definitely be Maz Faris card. I think they would. But I don't know if they'll pull good grades. What's happening next? Oh right, people were talking about uh, uh, Pokemon Roulette, where we cut a card in half. Not a card, a whole pack. We got all these beautiful loose packs to cut in half. Ooh, what if we played, what if we turned it into a real game? What if we, ooh, what if it was something like this? What if it was like this? We had two packs. And the way it works is two people buy one of the packs. No, 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 no. How should it be? Weekend Wolf says, I kind of want another loot box. I'm trying to think of a fun way to play the uh, Pokemon card roulette. Five bucks to cut the Charizard. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, let's see. Got to cover that shipping cost, says Wheelix. What? What are you talking about, Wheelix? Or Wellix? Wait, are you talking about... Are you in Canada? I can't remember now. He says, got to cover the shipping costs. I'm not sure what you mean. You have to explain what that donation was for Wellix. So, how can we turn this into a fun game, I wonder? Card roulette. Oh, it's for the card roulette. Okay, true, true, true. <laughs> All right, so he just paid for one of these packs to be cut in half. Here, here's what we'll do. Here's how the game will be played. Hold on. Let me grab one of these. All right. So in my hands, I have an Unbroken Bonds and a Burning Shadows. You pick one to cut in half, and I'll open up the other one and keep it. Okay? That's how we'll play the game. You cut one in half, I'll keep the other one. Pick which one you'd like. Unbro oh, wait. I'll let him decide. I'm having Saw vibes. <laughs> He's going to call you Steenie. I'll leave it up to those watching. Okay, the next person to call it is going to be the one. Which pack should be cut in half? Andres chose Unbroken Bonds. There we go. Here it goes. Oh, oh that's really tough. Oh, man, that one's especially tough. What if it has a... Really good full art in it. Ugh. The last one cut better than this one. Oof. Oh, that was really strong. Oh, I hope I don't wear my scissors out doing that. Okay, before we reveal the results of the roulette, <laughs> before we reveal it, let's open up this Burning Shadows and see what could have been cut. We'll start there. So this is what could have been cut, guys. The energy card. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need Jesus. Charmeleon, Wobbuffet. You saved Wobbuffet. Acerola, Stuffle, Noibat, Sock, Esper, Pan Sage, Reverse Hollow Slow King, which is actually pretty cool, and Electivire. Okay, so this did not have a full art in it or a GX in it. You could have cut this one in half. So now the real question is what was lost? Oh no. What was lost, guys? Are you ready for this? We'll take the upper half of the pack. Can I even... The energy... Oh, got that card's gone. Really tough. Here we go. I don't know why these didn't want to cut, but they did not want to cut. Could have been nothing. Let's find out. Zubat. Oddish. Sandile. Crabrawler. Cubone. Reverse Hollow Cottony and Hypno. Whew. It was safe, guys. It was a safe pack to cut in half. No full art, no GX. The Pokemon gods smiled kindly on you today. <laughs> oh my god. And that was our episode of Pokemon Roulette. Oh my god. It was so hard to cut. I thought that maybe there was a chance there was something really good in it. I was like, what the... What the hell? 
All right, put that away. Zeus is like, more please. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's this? Okay, so Mal's wrapping up a Hidden Fates pack. Ooh, I don't have a spare Hidden Fates pack. I only have the one. Uh, hmm. I only have the one. Well, I tell you what, we don't have to have two packs, so let's just cut the one in half. Here we go. So this is my only Hidden Fates. And, whoa, man. What's going on now? Buying another loot box. Oh, these will be sold out by tonight. Jesus Christ. So, Hidden Fates, Mew to, er, Mew. I'm worried my scissors will actually be ruined. Andra, uh, Andres Mat Matuta? What? All right, here we go. Are you ready? Wow. Just got to go a little bit at a time, I think, is the trick. What are we cutting in half, guys? We don't even know yet. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, my God. That takes so much strength to cut through. <laughs> it's like cutting through wood. All right, let's see what was lost. Actually, I wonder if you could take the other side of the code card and still get it. Literally can't handle this, this Dark Lord Pongo. Here we go, are you ready? Oh no. Oh no, this is Hidden Fates, guys. Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Clef oh, sh John Onyx GX. I was getting nervous. It was an Onyx GX. Wellix must be sad. <laughs> I was nervous this was going to be a full art. Oh my god, I was I was sweating bullets. I was sweating bullets, guys, cuz I saw the shine. You can't really tell if it's a you can't tell if it's a GX or a full art until you finally reveal it. So I'm like, "Oh my god, here it goes." Woo! No problem. That was a scary round. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see a full art cut in half. I think that's the truth. It's a uh, it's a little nerve wracking. Poor Wellix. <laughs> Wellix is like, no. All right, and you can probably scan this. That's the code card. Let's <coughs> go. So that was from Mahasvara. He says, let's do fit Hidden Fates card roulette as well as open a $23 thing. All right, so here you go. He wants to open one of these. No problem. This is for Mahasvara. Hidden Fates will go, or I mean, uh, Burning Shadows will go last. We'll start with Cosmic Eclipse. I really feel like one of the Cosmic Eclipse boosters is going to have something in it because we have not seen a full art come out of the Cosmic Eclipse packs. And uh, I feel like it's about time, don't you? I feel like it's about time. What do you want for the fossil or jungle box once it's empty? Right, so I believe they sell for about 40 bucks or something like that. I'll have to look up the price. Uh, but you're right, the actual empty box sells as well. Uh, we can definitely talk about it, and maybe I can cut you a deal as well. Cricketot, Woobat, Ducklet, Helioptal, Cosmog, Reverse Hollow Magnemite, one of my favorite cards, and Holographic Decidueye. Look at that card, he looks great. He's got a little claw, he's a Robin Hood. All right, stick that right there. Next pack, Unbroken Bonds. You know what? I think we did see something from the uh, Cosmic Eclipse. I think we saw like an Iggly Buff pull, didn't we? Yeah, oh, we did. It was a GX with the Iggly Buff pull. Nice. Decidueye is my favorite starter. Nice. Haunter, Welder, Happiny, Porygon, Geodude, Meowth, Venonat, Cottony, Reverse Hollow Squirtle, and... Holographic Crobat. Man, these pulls are looking nice, but they're not hitting that full art itch, you know what I mean? Where are the full arts? Next pack, Hidden Fates. He's going to be like, let's Russian roulette. Metal Energy, Farfetched, Jinx, Charmeleon, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Shiny Garchomp, not a bad pull, and Brock's Train. All right, nice, you got a shiny. Let's go ahead and package this up. This will be your best pull so far. Wow, looking beautiful. This is one of those te textured cards, right? Hidden Fates often 
has something special in it, I think. Next pack. This is for the Burning Shadows. Oh, Burning Shadows. Burning Shadows is getting expensive, by the way, guys. The price of Burning Shadows is moving. And I think it'll be expensive in no time. Potown, Ribombi, Curlia, Togodomaru, Du Piter, Cutie Fly, Ryolu, Andrews Matt, he says burn a pack. Uh, Andres, let's think about it. I could. How would I do that? I don't know if that would be a good idea. I'm worried I'm going to set my fire alarm, alarm off. Caterpie, Dark Ride GX, you got two good pulls this set. Nice job, man. Dark Ride is so cool. He is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Nice. So he has sent me a donation to burn a pack, and I think we could do that. I just ought to be safe, right? Mahasvara says, got that good luck. So let me mention something, by the way, Matt. Um, by the way, I don't know which one of these is more valuable. I will leave the Garchomp on, for, on the top because I like the way that his textured appearance is. You would definitely do that, but you could do it above a bowl of water and just drop the card in afterwards. Hmm, that is a clever idea. You guys want me to go find something to burn it with? Let's see, I only need a lighter. Miles Varus, doing well tonight, I'd say. So, if you're looking to purchase cards, do not use Super Chat. Uh, I'm, I'm strongly, uh, you know, there's a link in the description of the live stream, and this link sends the money... Uh, without any sort of fee. Well, there's a small fee, but it's very small. YouTube, on the other hand, takes a whopping 30% of the donation, and they don't even tell you. It's kind of sneaky of them if you think about it. They ought to tell you. But I tell you what, $5 is enough for me to open a pack and burn it, so we're going to be doing that tonight. Let me go get something to burn it with. I'll be right back. He asked for it, and we're getting it. guys I can't believe we're paying for this all right so Oops. let's be smart about this what I don't want is to burn myself ah, you know what I swear to god my fire alarm is going to go off and it's going to wake my wife up let me go turn my fire alarm off that's real smart right Fire alarm is disabled. <laughs> this has gotten really weird, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to hear the microphone going kind of crazy. So I reattach it. Okay. So the way I see it... Okay, let's let him choose, by the way. What would you like burned? Unbroken Bond or Burning Shadows? Your choice. Burning Shadows has burning in the name, but maybe Unbroken Bonds is better. You can choose, Matt. Was it Matt? <laughs> Imagine him disabling the fire alarm. <laughs> Burning shadows make sense. All right. And the Charizard's getting moved. That's for sure. Oops. No burning of my Charizard. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to open the pack up, and we're not going to know what the pull was, and then I'm going to burn it. All right. No looking. One, two, three, four. So this is the energy card. These would be the rares. All right, get high on fumes. So we won't burn the entire card up, just enough that it's ruined. Give me, give me a moment. There we go. So you guys can see properly. I still don't know what these cards are. Nobody does. All 
Oh, do I have fuel in this? Oh, there it goes. Oh, they're kind of resistant to being burned. All right, I think it's taking. All right, you got what you wanted. Oh, well that just went right out. So these do not burn very well. They seem to be burn resistant. It's pretty wild because it appears to be paper. All right, they are ruined now. Let's see what they were. You ready? So Pokemon Roulette. You had Dusk Noir, holographic actually, and Dewpider, but they're ruined now. <laughs> are you pleased? Are the, the Pokemon card gods pleased? Maybe next time we can have like a little miniature grill and they can just be left on the grill. <laughs> He's gone mad with power. Oh my God. Have I? I'm gonna toss these over here. What are these? Oh, these were like the other cards. Um, they're not really worth anything. I'm just going to just throw them on my common and common pile. <laughs> okay. Someone should donate so he'll eat a pack. Well, I'll not eat a pack because I, I value not having cancer. Uh, I don't want to eat it because I'm sure they're loaded with chemicals. I mean, I don't even think that... Weekend Wolf says, can you open my loot box next? I'm sorry, man. Yes, of course. Right away. So let's see. Weekend Wolf. Let's get it. Here we go. Eat a pack. What? Yeah, eat a pack and get sick, probably. I can't believe we just burnt Pokemon cards. What the... Frick. If you guys think of another way you want to ruin them, you let me know. There's bending, I guess. I could do like origami, maybe. <laughs> How old are you guys? Old enough to have money. <laughs> so let me fix the camera. I'm going to lower it a little bit again. It's 3 a.m. Just eat a pack. No. Nope. That actually will never happen. This game gets insane when you see a Pokemon you love die. I can bite a pack. I could bite a pack, but I'm not going to eat a pack. Here we go. First pack, Cosmic Eclipse. Wish Weekend Wolf luck. This is his pulls. Fairy, Energy, Will, looking like a fairy. Mimikyu, Beastite, Timpole, Piplup, Cosmog, Ponita, Crabrawler, Reverse Hollow Woobat, and Non-Holographic Sylveon. Nice. Jason is upset. <laughs> what? Here we go. Unbroken Bonds. Next pack. I can't believe we just burnt a card. What the? What is this turning into? This is like Lord of the Flies or something. Dark Energy, Laron, Welder. I felt like I was Welder a second ago. Frogadier, Venonat, Cottony, Wooper, Oddish, Tangela, Reverse Hollow Inke, which is actually very cute, and Non Holographic Zerora. Oh, better luck next time on that pack. We got two packs left, Hidden Fates and Burning Shadows. Let's see what we get in the next two packs. Hopefully something a little better. Imagine mainlining Pokemon cards, what? <laughs> don't look, don't look, don't look. One, two, three, four. Get these all lined up. So we have Magmar, Misty, Cerulean City, Gym, Sabrina, Suggestion, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Reverse Hollow Cubone, darn it. And Charizard GX, which is actually a decent pull. Believe it or not, Charizard GX. He is the Charizard GX of the Hidden Fate set. Not bad. Next pack. This is your Burning Shadows pack. Flip that over. One, two, three, four. Leaf Energy, Tormenting Spray, Heatmore, Weakness Policy, Pikachu, Crow Gunk, Magikarp, Meowth, Wimpod, Reverse Hollow Esper, and Non Holographic Shenotic. So it was kind of rough pulls. Luckily, you did get the Charizard GX, and I think that really does offer you, you know, a decent um, return on one of the packs at least. Poop on a pack. I'm not going to poop on a pack. Hmm. What's a creative way to ruin a Pokemon card? I liked the fire and the scissors. Those are both fun. We've already completed the Cursed Ritual. I think the CH can quali qualify to be a cult now. The card channel. <laughs> boiling a pack. Well, that would take me a while. Yeah, burning, boiling a pack would take a while for sure. That would be very interesting, though, because I've never seen 
I've never seen how a pack gets damaged from heat like that, you know what I mean? So if you put the pack in boiling water, would that actually destroy it and uh, the card inside? Like how would the, because the card inside would be dry, would it not? So I'm curious how the cards handle heat. It's very interesting. Microwave a pack, probably not gonna do that because uh, we'll end up ruining my microwave. Who is this for? This was for Weekend Wolf. Thank you so much, Weekend Wolf. I think he added a little donation in there too. Weekend Wolf. I, I appreciate that, man. Can you guys believe that there's only a few of these packs left? Let me show you. This is all we have left, and then I'm out. Wow. So I guess my impression is that you guys have really been enjoying this. This has been really fun. And I have a ton of cards to ship now. <laughs> For Monday, I have like a I have like a part-time job shipping cards now. Oh my god. How many hours is that gonna take? A shredder. I think the shredder would be a lot of fun if we had like a miniature shredder. I mean like really small. Imagine a shredder that only shreds cards and it's just like this big and you can feed the card in and have it get shredded and then find out what was in it. That would actually be very fun. But I don't know if mini shredders exist. Dark Lord Pongo says you need an assistant. <laughs> Wow, what a night. We lit a Pokemon card on fire. What the? F Andre says, what was your favorite Sun and Moon set? Including special sets. My favorite set is Hidden Fates, which is probably going to be a little cliche, but I think that Hidden Fates offers some of the best pulls in all of Sun and Moon if you're into collecting the cards. Flush the card down the toilet. Yeah, so I, I pulled this guy the other day, and he really made my day, you know? So... This will have to be my favorite set from Sun and Moon is The Hidden Fates. Thanks for following through with the burn, by the way. Very surprised. Heck yeah, man. If you guys can think of a fun way to ruin a card, we can definitely talk about ruining that card that way. Boiling a pack is definitely an idea. The only problem is it would take us a little while to get that water that hot. Drive a nail through the pack. Yeah, we could probably do that. Um, hole punch is a good idea. Well, it's kind of the same idea in that case. Put a, plaque, oh, put a pack in a blender is actually a good one. Oh, that would be so loud, but that would be crazy. We should definitely do that. Okay, so I like the blender idea, and I like the boiling idea. You burned a pack. I just got here, says Matt. 205 says, tape a pack to some fireworks. That one's cool as well, but that one would have to be done outside. Also, I'm thinking about it more. The blender would be so loud, I'd be afraid to be waking up my neighbors. I don't want to be rude to them. Um, but maybe we wouldn't have to blend it very long. The blender one is fun. I like that one. Put a card in your shoe and go for a run. Yeah, that might that might ruin the card. Uh, it might not, though. Zeus also says shred. Use alcohol in a tin and set on fire. Oh, my God. That sounds so fun. Use alcohol in a tin and set on fire. That is a tempting one, too. <laughs> oh, I definitely set off the fire alarm. I, I have it. The, the battery pulled out, though, so it wouldn't go off. So I like the, the blender one a lot, and the shredder one is nice too. It's just a matter of actually having the equipment for both of those. Ruin your foot is more like it, yeah. <laughs> See how many cards it takes to stop a gunshot from hitting you. <laughs> Make the cards into origami. I thought of that one. Dissolve them into acid. Cook a real meal with Pokemon cards in it. Video idea. At this point, we've all lost it. Hey, you guys are having more fun uh, thinking about how to destroy a pack rather than uh, actually opening a pack. <laughs> Can you believe the other night we created two full boxes of these and we're one one night later, all we have are three packs left. It's absolutely crazy. Ivan says, put paint stripper into a tin and dip them for a few seconds. All that built up anger from not getting the pulls we want. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, the shredder and the blender are both good. So those are those are worth considering. Cut a pack with a thousand degree knife. That would be interesting. This channel slowly becoming card destruction based. All the anger from all the cold packs. Now the problem is I don't think I'd have a way to get a thousand degree knife. That's the only problem with that. Thousand degree knife. The Pokemon gods are not satisfied. Monster Hunter is leaking over. Uh, maybe like a hair curler or hair straightener. That We could do something like that, but I don't have access to a thousand degree knife, unfortunately. 
give a pack to a family of hamsters. That is actually really clever, Matt, because they would almost certainly chew on the card. They would almost certainly chew on it and destroy it. But I don't have a hamster either. <laughs> yeah, they would definitely chew that up. Gerbils. You can buy some small hand torches for only like $20 to heat a knife. Oh, okay. A good way to poison a hamster. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, it's, and that's the same for me. I don't want to eat them. Hey, game economist, use a sold, solder tool, soldier tool. I'm probably not saying that right, for $1,000 knife. Okay, so like a soldering iron or whatever. Make a pair of pants made of Pokemon cards. Um, no, we're not going to do that one. So people like, I like the blender and the shredder, and we're talking about a thousand, uh, a thousand degree knife. Uh, what else? Soldering would probably release fumes. Magnifying glass would be funny, actually, Matt, but we would have to be outside, and the sun would actually have to be really strong, but that's actually pretty fun, too. I like that one. So we couldn't do that one in the winter. It's too cold outside right now, in my opinion. We don't get that much sunlight. That's not where I live. It's always cloudy. So these are all great ideas. I like these. I like these. How much would someone have to donate to smoke a pack of Pokemon cards? For me to smoke a pack of Pokemon cards, you'd have to be able to pay for my uh, hospital bill when I go to the hospital for breathing in those fumes. Have your wife do one. Oh, what, like a shred? Losing money stream commence, says Jimbo Slice. Um, well, Jimbo, I'm letting people buy the packs and have them destroyed, so I, I, I don't lose money. It's the people who purchase the packs so that everyone can be entertained by the destruction of the card. They're the ones <laughs> who lose a pack. Make a Pokemon card. Put cards in nail polish remover at the beginning of a stream and take them out at the end. I don't have any nail polish remover, and I don't think I'll ever have it. Losing money, gain, gaining dominance. Gaining do dominance. Dartboard a card. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. That one's too complicated. You would need, like, darts and everything. Blender is The Blender one is the best one so far, I think. This is becoming a stress relief for the day. <laughs> we could definitely do... Mix the cards up and burn two random cards. Mix the cards up and burn two random cards. Hmm. We could do that. That would be an even... Well, your odds of burning the card are pretty low. How about you burn four of them randomly? So the burning is definitely one. I thought the alcohol one was actually pretty funny because I do actually have alcohol, but I'm, I'm worried about it like exploding into flames or something. We probably could do it though. I'm thinking about it. Put Pokemon in a blender, then shred and make a Pokemon cards out of the remnants. <laughs> oh my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> deep fry a pack. That's true. We could deep fry a pack. You guys are too crazy. Well, are we out of ideas? What do you guys think? Time to, to uh, head out. The problem with the blender is you wouldn't be able to tell what it was originally. Well, we wouldn't have to blend it that much. We just have to blend it enough to destroy it. Rubbing alcohol has a slow burn rate. I agree with this destroy Pokemon cards debate. <laughs> what? Destroy Pokemon cards. What's the most annoying way for a card to get destroyed? Right, so we've got the card. We could just soak it in water, I mean. Bad shuffling. True. Drop it unintentionally. Water damage is a common problem with the uh, cards. Cutting the art out of the card itself. Try eating the card. No, we're not going to do that. Try eating the card. Shove them down some homeless pants. Yeah, I can just shove them down my pants, but then... Obviously, Emma would want them. Uh, you guys, I chat, use, what? You guys in chat use hidden fate codes? What? Oh, 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 I see. You're giving the codes away. Make a wallet out of Pokemon cards. Make a wallet out of Pokemon cards. Super glue the pack together. That's a, that's a creative one. Problem is I don't have any super glue. Soak in different sods to see the reaction after a week. True. The, the problem with a lot of these ideas is they involve me having to, like, go to the store and actually buy stuff. You know what I mean? But I do like the idea of maybe, like, a miniature card blender. Someone please donate before the night ends. 205 says, yes, tip a waiter with them. I love that idea. Here you go. I'll take, like, 
I'll take like some fancy cards like this or something, right? And I'll be like, uh, do you accept Pokemon cards as a tip? <laughs> and then the, the waiter will be like, wow, what a man, baby. Then she'll say, no, I'll take money, please. My ex-wife would have been pissed if I wasn't wearing my ring. Law, you're brave. Oh, right. I, I do have a ring. I, I don't know where it is. Bribe a police officer with them. Officer, officer, I have Pokemon cards. Maybe you want some of these Pokemon cards I have. Buy them, wait a week, look for if it grows, what? Bury them, that's what you said. Whoa, donation time. Let's see. Well excess, this will cover the mini blender at Walmart. Really? So he just sent 15 bucks. Let me actually look and see if there is such a thing. Here, why don't you take a look? Where's my little card holder? We pulled this guy, you guys look at this for a minute. Pretend Lycanroc is looking at you and thinking, we're gonna blend some cards. Let's take a look and see if there is actually a miniature card blender. Something like a card shredder. Uh, let's see, mini shredder, that's what we're gonna look up. Mini card shredder. USB, mini paper shredder. Oh, they do exist? No way. They're like, you just hold it in your hand and the card, whatever you put, passes through and gets shredded. No way. They actually exist. Let's see, desk, desktop style. Well, that one looks pretty large, actually. Nine by seven by 10 inches, that's too large. This one looks pretty small. Professional strip cut paper shredder, CD credit card shredder without waste basket. Okay. How large is this? It's fairly large though. God, I want a really small one. I'm looking on Amazon right now. So you can buy a mini paper shredder, but even when they're small, they're actually fairly large. What's the smallest paper shredder? Shredder. Portable shredder. I'm just taking a look, guys. All right, this one, uh, no, we want one where we can really see. Buy a wood chipper, talk about overkill. <laughs> like in rock is still staring into my soul, huh? Small paper shredders for desk side. I'm jealous of your card stand you found. It's actually, that's an easel. So that's a mini easel, so now you know what to look for. Yes, uh, so here we go. Aurora is our top pick for a small paper shredder because this machine offers the total package besides the small footprint dimensions. 13 by nine by 11, that's huge. That's actually very large. Seven by 12 by 13, nine by seven by 10. This one is actually very small. Nine by seven by 10. That's still really large. I'm talking about a really small one. Hmm. I'm sure there must be something out there. We will look around. I'll definitely take a, a minute to look around for it. Well, it's, it's on my mind now, so I'm sure if we keep looking, we'll find something. All right. Card comments by a manual hand crank meat grinder. See, something like that, perhaps. Just something really small. Something so small that you can set it on your table and be like, and when it lands, when it lands here, it's just already shredded. Put Pokemon cards in a box then. What? Maybe like a really miniature oven though. How would you absolutely annihilate a card? So like the shredder's nice though because you put the card through the sh shredder and then you can take apart the pieces and see what you shredded. So if we shredded this guy, we would know it. I'm worried if we did like a miniature like cooker What'll happen, two things will happen. A lot of fumes will be released into the air that I don't want. And the other problem will be that you might not even be able to recognize the card if you don't pull it out in time. I like putting them in your pants <laughs> idea. <laughs> Emily, you're, Emma, you're funny. I, I said, Emily, again, what is wrong with me? Something's wrong with me. Something is actually wrong with me. Look at these cards. Dustin Moore, Magnazone, Shaman. These are old. You know, these are from 2009. These are 10 years old. I don't know what to do with these. These are like, they're... I guess they're vintage, but they're not like super vintage. 
tactical nuke. Look at this toxic croak. He actually looks pretty nice. Whooper. Septile. I gotta get rid of those. What's a cheap dissolvent? Put Pokemon cards in a box, dig a hole, and put the box in a hole, and dig it up five years from now. When I'm a boomer, I don't even know if I'll want cards when I'm a boomer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> dig it up five years from now. <laughs> Feed them to Kitty. Give them as a tithe at church. That's funny. I do like the alcohol idea. I wonder if we could just light it up with alcohol. Hey, Game Economist. I'm sending a shredder via Discord. Maybe this will work. Well, Wes, it's got to be real small. And I'll, I'll check it out. It's got to be real small, though. Like, tiny. I wonder. So, oops. Actually, I shouldn't have dumped that over. So if I take this, and my wife's going to call me an idiot. If she, if she saw me doing this kind of stuff, she'd call me an idiot. Okay, so what if we put it on top of here, so it's not directly touching. I don't want it to touch the deck. You know, the, um, I don't want it to touch the desk. That's what I mean to say. I'll be right back. Oh, I poured some on the desk. fire extinguisher just in case do i though do i do i buy a blow dart gun for twenty dollars it'll go through three packs nah it won't though hmm. i thought that the alcohol would actually light up and it is not interesting I thought that alcohol was flammable. I guess there's things I don't know about alcohol. Oh, hot. You missed us coming up with good ways to destroy the card's metal axe. Check for heat. What? Oh, oh no, it's dripping. It's leaking. <laughs> All right, we can't have that. I don't want leaking alcohol everywhere. I'll be right back. Just tape it to an M80 game. Put a card in an old gaming system. Man, I have a blender right now. So guys, I actually have a blender. The problem is, I'm, I'm afraid the blender is going to be much too loud. It's weird think that, thinking that for more than half of the Pokemon, uh, it'll be the last time they'll be in card form. Is that the Sword and Shield isn't going to allow the Pokemon that it... Are, are they cut the same way they're cut from the game? That's sad. Submerge them in maple syrup and then freeze them. <laughs> we'll take a look into the card shredder. I think that's right now the best idea we have. I would love it if we had like a card Iron Maiden too. What if we had like an Iron Maiden... Cart Economist, you could probably use a soda can crusher. Those are small. Tell you guys what, you guys look into creative ways 
to destroy the Pokemon card packs, like maybe a little tool that will help us do it. I would love that. Mahasvara says, do you think God stays in heaven for he too fears what he has created? What? <laughs> I read your comment. <sighs> Should we go ahead and wrap up for the night? What do you guys think? Cole says, well, now you got us excited about the blender. Well, we can't run it. It's too late at night. It's very late at night. I'm sure I would wake my neighbors up. Just eat them. Nah, that's not going to happen. It's been a good night, says Dark Lord Pongo. In fact, it has been. 205 says, yeah, might as well wrap up. I could open up one more tin for myself, but I think we're good. I'll save the tin for tomorrow. I don't want to go through the tins very fast. I, I kind of want them to last for a long time. Who is stronger, Mewtwo or Mew? Mewtwo, duh, because he's been made stronger. Have you not been paying attention to my blog? <laughs> Give the cards to Bioware. They'll destroy them all, right? That's right. Bioware will somehow destroy them. Somehow they will destroy the cards. Ivan says, oof. Tell you guys what, let's leave on a... Final note, I'll have one more Unbroken Bonds. Maybe this is a full art, maybe it's not. This will be the last pack. Last pack, everyone. One, two, three, four. Last pack. Pio Kumaku, Styland, Kogus Trap, Lickitung, Spiro, Melton, Rhyhorn, Doduo, Reverse Hollow Graveler, and what? I just pulled a full art, damn it. So we have, uh, put the Graveler away. Actually, I'm not excited for this. Is this a secret rare, by the way? What is this? I've never seen this before. Freaking Buzzwool, dude. This guy keeps showing up. Somebody buy this card for me, because I am not the biggest Buzzwool fan. <laughs> Someone just pulled that card yesterday, right? No. Tag Team GX, did he sell all the custom booster packs? Metalax, there are just three left. There are three left. If you're interested in them, let me know now or forever hold your peace because we are going to wrap up. Buzzwell looks like my like Swole Mr. Krabs. He does. He does look like Swole Mr. Krabs. And somebody will probably want him, I guess. Wes Kiba says he has a small hand crank. What? I'll give you a small hand crank. Imagine if that would have been the one you destroyed. Oh, you're right. It could have been the full art. Mr. Krabs sold Spongebob for 62 cents, did he? Jesus Christ. When have you become Spongebob? Okay, put those cards up there. I was just curious. I bought my week's amount yesterday. <laughs> Danielle Garcia says, how much for one pack? Well, I don't know if I'll sell the... You can, you can purchase an individual pack to have me destroy it. Uh, otherwise, I will probably save the individual packs to be putting them into these uh, four packs at a time thing. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'll probably save them for that so that I have, you know, more to, to assemble. I don't think we have much for tomorrow. Andres Matt says, how much would you sell it for? How much would I sell the Buzzwolf for? Uh, give me two seconds. I will go look it up. I will sell you that Buzzwolf right now. It's pack fresh. That is a pack fresh card. You know that is pack fresh because you watched me pull it pack fresh. So none of that eBay seller tricking you crap. Let's see, that's fair. Uh, what's the number on that one? 192. Fair O Moza. 192. Oh, it actually goes for quite a bit. Shipping low first. I will sell it to you. Near mint, near mint. I want a near mint mint. Near mint. Where's a near mint mint? Because that what I just pulled is a near mint mint. Here it is. Am I reading that right? It looks like he sells for roughly $10. So I will sell the card to you for $9 if you want it. Yeah, if you want this card, I will sell it to you for $9 because that's what I believe I can get for it on eBay. $9 bucks includes the shipping already. Imagine people outside of Card Factory selling fresh packs. Where's the best site to see the prices on the cards? Well, it depends. There's multiple sites that sell uh, Pokemon cards. I what I'll typically do is I'll check eBay, and I'll it's you got to shop, uh, shop carefully because eBay can be very tricky. You have to look for uh, the quality of the seller. You have to see if they're listing the card as simply near mint or if they're listing it as near mint mint. 
And even when they do list it as near mint mint, see this would be a near mint mint card. Basically what it means is this is pack fresh. It could actually have a chance for a PSA 10. Um, somebody who's saying near mint is saying it definitely won't pull a 10. So if you see a listing and it only says near mint, it's their way of telling you this card is not a 10. Okay, and then when it says near mint mint, it means it's pack fresh and that it might actually pull a 10. But the problem I have with that is sometimes sellers are not being honest with you. Sometimes they're just saying that to sell the card. You don't know that till it arrives. Ouch, didn't expect it to go for that much. We'll wait till next time. Yeah, apparently it's a, a card that goes for a decent amount. That's okay. I will list it myself when I eventually have time to list things on eBay. Apparently first I have a lot of cards to ship. You guys want to see how many cards I have to ship? I'm going to show you how many cards I have to ship. I have some cards to ship. These are the cards we opened in the last two days. Just two days. Think I'm done? <laughs> I am not done. I feel like I'm handling dollar bills over here or something, like I'm a banker. And how would you like that money withdrawn? <laughs> Card shredder in the Discord? I hope you like it. I will definitely take a look at it for sure. We got to ship these, man. Look at that. Look how much shipping that is. Oh my god. So, tomorrow is Sunday, and we will definitely be shipping all of these out. On, or to, technically, today is Sunday, and we will be shipping all of these out by Monday. All of them. They will all be on the road. On the road again. Stonks. Let's go ahead and move these over here. That is a lot of shipping. I swear to god, like... I could be doing shipping for 20, 20 packs or whatever this is, 30 packs, or I could be editing a video on my other channel, which it would probably be smarter if I was doing that. But this is more fun. This is what I do for fun. This is my, my hobby now. Pulling the cars is fun. I like sharing it with you guys. I like that you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, crazy. Here's that. Like and rock. Actually, you know some other cards I have that I'll probably be selling. He says, can't wait. Thanks for getting back into Pokemon cards. Oh, for sure, man. We pulled this tonight. We have Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Lunala, Solgaleo, Solgaleo, Lunala. So I've got, these are from the premium set, and I have these to sell or to grade. I might be grading them. They look really nice, though. Most underrated channel on YouTube. Can't wait till your channel grows. Yeah, you know, I think it takes a little while for your channel to get large enough for anyone to notice it. I think that's kind of how it goes. Some cards we've pulled. Sudowoodo, Gyarados, Galispod, Gyarados, Reshiram. These are older, actually. Circuitry. Oh, yeah, we pulled this the other day on TikTok. I have a TikTok account. Look, Ferramosa and Buzzwool. <laughs> Mulane. Uh, man, somebody should buy this from me for like three bucks. Alone, Vulpix, Muck, Raichu, Starmie, 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 Raichu, Raichu, Gyarados. How did Miss May just get in here? She's not any good. Another Fermosa and Buzzwall. I'm so tired of that card. I pulled that card so much. Pull it so much. Hold on. Look, I've got the trifecta right here. Here it is, trifecta. I have, if you're a fan of Feramosa and Buzzwool, contact me. I have all three cards. They're from the same set. Look, they're all unbroken bonds. They're all pack fresh. I pulled all of these myself. I have all of them for some reason. I never have this luck with anything else. But for, for Feramosa and Buzzwool, the card I am not interested in, I have tons of luck. So I have tons of this card. <laughs> Yeah, if somebody wants Buzzwool and Feramosa, if you want all three of these, contact me. I will definitely sell them to you. I'll cut you the best deal. The best. That's your new Pokemon main. Sorry. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I normally like bug Pokemon, by the way. Uh, but they're too humanoid for me, personally. Somebody else might like them, though. Yes, yeah, Darmy. God, so much Starmie. All right, that's it, guys. I'm just going to open all these jungle boosters right in front of you. <laughs> oh, we're not done. Mail time. We need to open up a piece of mail. Oh, my God. I can't believe we almost messed that up. It's mail time. Ooh, actually, I just noticed something really important. My wife was cleaning up uh, with me. We were cleaning up around here. I think she might have thrown some of my mail away. Oh, no. I hope it wasn't anything valuable. Oh no, I got a con. 
I know what happened. Uh, the mail pile might have looked... Oh, well, you know, it might be okay. We'll have to dig through it. I hope she didn't throw it away. Mail time. Here we go. Ah. Yeah, she cleaned up the area that has both opened mail bags. West Kiva says, YouTube says you're live on your other channel. I'm definitely not. That's not good. Yeah, I think my wife might have actually accidentally thrown open, uh, thrown away some open, uh, unopened mail. But I don't know if it's been actually thrown out. So I'll have to check. Oh, no. I hope not. I really do. So this packing style is uh, scary because I don't know if I'm going to cut the cards themselves. Uh-oh, stinky. Okay, appears to be a bunch of top loaders. I think this is a safe place to cut right here. Ugh. Good thing I have strong scissors. <laughs> Enough tape on this thing or what? So let's take a look at what was in here. That's a little worn. I like how they, they had prices on it, but they're like, don't look at this. But it's like, dude, I can see it. That's a 15. That's a four. He pulled that one off successfully. So these all look like they're worn cards. So they're vintage for sure. Let's flip them over. Ooh, hollow Gengar, huh? Oh, that's very worn. You can see he's pretty scratched up. Right, no problem. I don't know if I want these packs with the stickers on the back. Well, actually, he is going to come out of here. Place this to the side. Ditto. So all these are going to be light plate, it appears. Haunter. Seems I've purchased myself a hollow fossil pack. You know, I don't open the mail very quickly. And so it's always kind of confusing when, when I open something, I'm like, I bought this? <laughs> this is one of those moments. It must have been a must have been a lot that I thought was a good deal or something. Lapras. When it comes to lots, you often are taking a gamble that the cards are in any kind of decent condition. That's pretty worn. Get back to work. Thanks for the fun. See you later, Emma. I'm glad you had fun. Vaporeon. This is from the jungle set. Pidgeot from the jungle set. See you later, 205. It's about time for me to go to Raichu from the base set. This appears to be base set Raichu. Ninetales, nice. That's base set Ninetales. Well, this one looks pretty good, actually. It's got a big print line down here. See, this print line's really well defined. You can see it right away. But those earlier print lines we had on those cards we were pulling were very thin. So it was kind of hard to see them. Mewtwo. Looks like you guys are ready to go to bed. And Chansey. All right, so we got some worn hollows is what we got there. Got some top loaders. I don't want to even want to use these. I use these in shipping. Sweet. These will be added to my vintage cards pile. Let's take a closer look at them. So Chansey, Raichu, Can't Party All Night, Mewtwo, <laughs> Pidgeot, Ninetales, Vaporeon, Lapras, Zapdos, Haunter, Ditto, and this beautiful looking Gengar. Never sleep when you're streaming. I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> so that goes into my vintage cards pile. That was our mail for the day. Got that from Anton, Ant's Attic. <laughs> Funny. Okay, I think we're done then. Uh, we opened lots of cards. We've only got three, three of these packs left. I have a Cosmic Eclipse booster box, uh, and other than that, um, I don't know. I, I suppose, yeah, yeah. I suppose it's time to wrap things up. Do you stream every night? Says Dodogama the, the Doge, the Dodge. Yes, I've been streaming Pokemon cards every night for a while now. Matt R says, do you think that the end of Monster Hunter World is coming sooner than later? I think it's coming later. I think they're going to support the game for a while. Thanks for the memories. No problem, Weekend Wolf. I got a lot of cards to ship off to you guys. Uh, I believe I have all your addresses. I just didn't manage to ship them out this morning because I did not get enough sleep, and I slept in, and the man snuck by. All right. 
Thank you all for playing. I want to thank uh, thank you all for making donations and purchasing the patch, packs. Essentially, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.